Uh, teenage obesity um, today is um, increasing at a, um, a steady rate. Economics plays a role and um, uh, with the rising unemployment rate, now estimated at 8% in the country, um, uh, we're, we're going to see families making uh, probably more and more choices based on how many dollars they have in their wallet and uh, not based on what the food pyramid um, uh, says that we should be ingesting. A stark reduction in the number of physical activity programs that are required in our school systems. Um, there is a much greater emphasis placed on academics uh, and, um, and that's not to say that it's inappropriately placed on academics. Um, however, when you are um, uh, really just measuring and quantifying uh, performance based on one area, that is academics, to the exclusion of, of other areas that may actually have an impact on health, like physical fitness programs, um, I, I think it's, it's easy to imagine that this also contributes. Another way to look at obesity is um, uh, simply as, as pounds overweight. And um, depending on your height, as few as, as 20 or 30 pounds overweight uh, would qualify one as being obese. The estimate, and this is a few years old now, uh, for taking care of um, uh, all of the complications of diabetes is about 25 cents out of every healthcare dollar that's spent in America today. If you look back to uh, the 1970s, and compare 30 years later, um, the incidence of childhood obesity has tripled. Um, this has also been in parallel with an increase in um, the, the prevalence of adult obesity. My fear is, um, if unchecked, a number of uh, consequences will, um, will be realized. Those consequences include um, a decrease in the number of quality years uh, of life for many, many Americans. Prevention of obesity uh, is a difficult task, um, but prevention efforts certainly do start at home. They start at home uh, in terms of meal preparation and eating meals at home. Uh, they start in the grocery store when uh, food selection choices are being made, and they start um, when uh, people, which uh, do what people do, which is to go out to eat, um, really look at, at menu items. And um, helpful prevention efforts include looking at menus that, that quantify calories and, um, and quantify ingredients in food to help, uh, help individuals make healthy choices, both uh, when they're out to eat and when they're in the grocery store. It's a multi-factorial uh, problem um, that uh, probably has uh, just as many possible solutions um, and it really takes a, um, uh, a family, it takes healthcare providers and it just takes uh, people with, uh, with good common sense sometimes uh, to get their arms around this problem.